Hey everybody, Pastor Mike here on another Friday video to update you on what's happening in the life of our church. Next to me is my assistant, Chloe, the uh, house cat. The doctor told me uh, five years ago to put her outside, and so I did, and, and she's, uh, she's loved it ever since. In fact, I made her pay the copay, $35. Uh, yeah, so anyway, it's Friday. I wanted to tell you what's going on in the life of our church. First of all, lots of answered prayer, uh, people experiencing God's healing, physical healing, uh, the restoration of relationships, uh, the imparting of wisdom. God is so good and he's so powerful, able to uh, transform any life and meet any need in your life, any change you're desiring for your life or the life of a loved one. Uh, the Lord tells us to cry out to him for his power and his might. And he's in the, he's in the business of transforming lives and we're watching him, literally watching him do that in our own church and in the ones uh, that we love. And so it's exciting to watch that. We've got a lot of great opportunities as a church. Uh, last Saturday, the first class where we presented um, Constitution Alive. It's really just an educational class. What is the Constitution of the United States? What's in it? What's in the Bill of Rights? You hear all this debating going on in culture. If you're going to get into the debate, you might as well know what's, uh, what's behind uh, the conversation, right? And, and know the facts about our great nation. And there's an underlying theme in that class of freedom, the freedom that the Founding Fathers desired and how their faith taught them or in, um, informed them about the true meaning of freedom. And so it's all on Saturdays, 10 a.m. We had about 50 people last week. You're welcome to come. Uh, you don't have to sign up. Just come and, and we'll get you signed up if you want to sign up. But just come and even check it out this Saturday if you want. Bring a lawn chair, 10 a.m. right in front of the sanctuary and you're welcome uh, to come. Also, at the beginning of October, another great event coming up. A friend of Christina and mine, his name's Dave Diamond, teaches around the country and on the internet, on Facebook, on a, on a, a group called Beyond Church. He teaches on the authority of Christ in you. The, the, the premise is this, if the Spirit of God who raised Christ Jesus from the dead is in you, what difference should that be making in your life and in the life of your loved ones? And so he talks about accessing the authority and power of Jesus Christ and watching Jesus and, and the Lord and the Holy Spirit transform your own life and the life of those you love uh, by accessing the authority of Jesus Christ. So if you're looking for change, you're stuck in a rut, you know somebody who needs just a, a miracle in their life, come out and learn how that can happen through your prayers and through your own ministry to your loved ones. Uh, it's going to be an awesome weekend. First weekend in October, he's going to teach on Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The Constitution class will be canceled that day. So Saturday, October 3rd, I believe it is, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then he'll preach on October 4th. It's going to transform lives. He's just a great, great man of God, and I'm so uh, excited to introduce him to you. Christina and I are excited. And so uh, lastly, I'm going to start a series on Psalms uh, starting tomorrow. We're starting Sunday, and um, Psalms is probably the most uh, emotion-laden book in the um, in the Bible. And the theme of the series is just going to be uh, the Lord is the Lord of your emotions. Uh, he can um, heal emotions. Uh, he can help you appreciate your emotions. He can use your emotions uh, to bring glory to Himself. And so uh, the Psalms has been called the Songbook of Israel, or the diary of King David. We're gonna look into it. I'm gonna challenge you to read through it with me for eight weeks, in eight weeks time. And you're, I'm reading it right now and I'm just, again, awestruck at the beauty of the book of Psalms. So come join us this Sunday, 10 a.m. We got seating for everybody, people with masks, people who don't wanna visit, people who wanna hug each other. It's all possible on Sunday mornings, 10 a.m. at Christ Fellowship Church. God bless you, have a wonderful, wonderful day.